crowded in cages, penned behind bars, all for sale. There are several cages here full of cats, presumably just waiting to be sold. This isn't a pet store. It's a wholesale meat market in southern China, where eating cats and dogs is common practice. Frozen dog legs. This is how much? 36 yuan, so that's about six dollars for. Looks like a lot of meat there. At the Han River Dog Meat Restaurant, diners can have it almost any way they please. So on the menu, they've got dog steak, dog soup, dog and tofu, and many, many other dishes. And when we asked them which one is the most popular, they said everything is popular here. Uh, so he's chopping up the dog meat. Never seen this before. It looks a lot like pork, I would say. It's a little difficult to watch. But dog meat is good for your health and metabolism, the hostess tells me. In the summer, it helps people sweat. Still, these local restaurants may have to find a new specialty. New legislation pending review by the Chinese government could make eating dogs and cats illegal. This ban on eating cats and dogs would demonstrate that China has reached a new level of civilization, says this professor who's leading the campaign. While many cats and dogs are specifically raised to be eaten, animal rights advocates say there's always a chance there's someone's lost or stolen pet. The Chinese government ordered dog to be taken off the menu during the Beijing Olympics to avoid upsetting international visitors. And with living standards rising, China's growing number of pet owners are throwing their support behind the potential ban as well. I would never eat dog meat, this woman says. It's so cruel. But experts say any law against it could take as long as a decade to pass. Until then, it's a la carte to the kitchen from the cage. Emily Chang, CNN, Guangzhou, China.